Hello, and this is our first of a series of videos on Google Classroom, explaining everything you need to know, hopefully, with the dramatic upsurge in homeschooling people are finding themselves floundering. This first video is an introduction, and you don't need to worry about what specific device you've got. Uh, as you can see here, I'm if you can see, I'm using a laptop, but that doesn't matter at the moment. The next video will focus on using the, the website through a computer like this. The third video will look at using the interface on an iPhone or an iPad, uh, and then we'll come back in later videos to look at more detailed stuff. So this is the Google Classroom homepage. Uh, and before I go into any specific class, I just want to point out this button, the very top of the screen, uh, this main menu button, is part of the, the Google suite of apps. This is where you can go to turn off the emails. People get bombarded by emails, and you can actually turn off specific types of emails as well. So if you don't want emails about comments made by other pupils, if you've got a very busy school, uh, then you can turn those off there. Uh, there are a variety of different options, so it's worth looking at if you're getting a lot of email. Uh, this lists all the classes you're a member of, and there's only one here. Um, primary school age children tend to be in one class at a time. Of course, if you're in secondary or, or FE, you get a lot more. Uh, and you can also see further down on this page, perhaps there are some assignments due tomorrow. So this is a sort of an overview of all your classes um, with a, a view in as to when they're all due. So I've got two due tomorrow here from the one class. If you were in more than one class, you would see both assignments that were due here. So this is a sort of a broad overview page of the um, of the classes. So let's talk about some of the concepts behind class. A classroom is a collection of teachers and students, obviously, uh, and the the uh, elements of a class really are the stream the classwork section and the people section. There are these three sections that compose a Google Classroom. Let's go in reverse order because that's the simplest. The people section is the people in the class, both students and uh, teachers. And teachers can actually assign parents to students' accounts as well. So um, you, can, you can link that together. So if you're a parent and your child's in the Google Classroom, you can get, as a parent, perhaps emails about what's going on as well. So that's worth knowing about. The classwork section we'll cover in a lot of detail in the next video. This is where all the classwork is displayed. And the stream is an overview of what's going on in the class uh, in sort of date order. So if I just flick down um, the stream here, just to explain the sorts of things that you will find in a classroom. So we have assignments, materials, and announcements are the three main type of content you get in a Google Classroom. Uh, an assignment is something that you can physically do or hand in, uh, which is often part of a topic. So teachers can group assignments into topics. You can't see that on the screen, but you'll see it in the next video. So those are the majority of the work. Assignments are things assigned to pupils and students to be done. Material can also be part of a topic. It's it's similar to an assignment in that it can be grouped together. So it you can have material that belongs to a topic, but it doesn't have to be handed in. There's no way of sort of giving it back to your teacher and it doesn't have a, a date on it by which it has to be done either. So that's the only difference between uh, an assignment and a material is that you don't hand an assignment. Uh, sorry, you don't have material in, you do hand assignments in. And then announcements, these are they're basically like the chat part of a class. Um, we, uh, our daughter's in primary, and we tend to see the students and teachers using this um, announcements section as a sort of free-for-all uh, question and answer session. And the, the announcements aren't really linked to any assignments or, or topics or anything. They're just part of the flow of the, of the class. Um, all of these items, all three of these types of item, can be commented on. So if I were to scroll down here, you can perhaps see that there are comments on that uh, uh, announcement so people can answer questions and so on. And those are the three major types. So a, a topic is a bit more of a um, uh, less substantial thing. You can't really see it, but it does let you group assignments. And we'll see that more when we look at the classwork section. Um, announcements are just chat, questions, answers. Uh, teachers can turn off student announcements if they want to. Ours hasn't. Uh, perhaps you should at some point because it does get a bit uh, long-winded. Uh, and then it's the, the material, which is um, the the rest of it, which is the information, I suppose, the equivalent of your, your textbooks and so forth. And I just want to briefly explain 
let's click on this assignment here because each type of sorry there's a little pop up there that came up about handling working um reminding you to, to do it uh there's a number of type of attachment that can be assigned to a student's work uh, and it gets a bit confusing so i'm just going to explain that in this video before we move on to how it sounds from a, a screen reader perspective uh, in later videos so each assignment can have any number of files attached and these types of files are, are variable so it can be videos it can be links to other websites it can be documents it can be powerpoints it can be anything uh, even pictures you know it doesn't doesn't matter whatever the teacher wants to assign uh, and there are two sections where this happens so i don't know if you can visually see uh, but there is a difference here between the your work section which is an editable document that the student can write in and then there is a, a series of links further up, um, a series of attachments, if you like. Uh, there's an MP3 here, uh, a link to a Word document itself, and a link to a website. So those are all files that the whole class and the whole cohort can see. And then this Your Work section further down is where you will write your answers. And if, you, if you're handwriting, uh, as our child is, this is where you will sort of photograph your work and upload it. And this is where it goes when you add it to the assignment before you hand it in. So there's a very clear distinction between the work that the whole class sees and the work that only you see. Uh, also worth noting about that is because when you get feedback, uh, the, the comments can be private or public. So you see here there are two boxes. That's a class comment box at the bottom there where you can actually chat about the assignment to the whole class if the teacher's left that turned on. And this private section is between you and the teacher. So it's very, very careful that you, you know, don't put things in the wrong places, uh, and that you, you, you recognize the differences between those two. So the your work section is the, the private stuff and the rest is public. And that is the, the major overview, the very high level overview, very brief of Google Classroom. Your assignments have attachments, some of which are public and some of which are for you only. Uh, and then in the next set of videos, as I explained, we'll go on and look at these in more detail with a screen reader running on both computer and mobile phone.